let me say that the uh, sun came up Sunday after the game, uh, and uh, we had uh, we've had actually a nice week of practice so far. I felt our we've had the best enthusiasm we've had in a while, and probably the best focus. Uh, and we're looking at moving forward uh, and uh, playing a, a team that got a great win last week in Louisiana Monroe over a big rival. Uh, obviously, it's the first Sun Belt game for us in our in our program history, so that's something that's uh, pretty exciting. But it is a fresh start, so to speak. Uh, from our uh, out of conference, and I uh, know our guys are, are looking forward to really just getting on the road and getting away and, and showing uh, what we really can be going forward. So, what did you tell your team after that loss? Obviously, very disheartening, but how do you kind of get build the guys' the spirits back up after a kind of a loss like that? Well, uh, first thing was that uh, what anybody, whether it's your team or anything, what you focus on, what you choose to focus on is what you tend to move to. And I told them that we can focus on what happened to us or we can focus on the opportunity going forward. And so if we choose to focus on what we have, the opportunity going forward, uh, and just focus on that and what we get to do and how we can turn things around and not, you know, not how bad we are or how bad this is, how bad that is, uh, and sort of put, that, put the, the past in the past, focus on the future. You know, don't look in that rearview mirror, look out the front window. And that's what we, we're talking about doing. And I think our guys have, have – uh, at least so far, if, if believe in that and moving forward and, and know what happened was not a representative of us and focusing on Monroe. I'm going off that. Would you consider uh, now as a clean slate, obviously uh, kind of a, a new season will start Saturday with Sunday? Well, I think anytime you start conference, it's a, it's a conference, so you're not playing a game. So that, that is a new season, so to speak. But, um, you know, what we've done is what we've done. We can, we can learn from it. Um, not look back at it, but definitely learn from it and make sure we don't repeat some of the things. If we sit in here 3-0, we'd be, oh, yeah, that's part of the season. So it all depends on what narrative you want to use. But more so just, hey, we're moving forward with the opportunities we have. And uh, we, are, we are thankful that we, you know, we're into conference play and we get to um, you know, go and try to get our first win. Last week in the game against uh, ULL, uh, Monroe's quarterback Evans had about 330-something yards. And since the first three games, we haven't been able to get over 317. Mm -hmm. um, is it kind of frustrating have not being able to establish a passing game um, right now? Um, it's, it's frustrating, but um, you know we are who we are right now. We're trying to get to that point where we can uh, be explosive and be consistent on, on uh, in both phases of uh, on offense there, as far as running and throwing. Um, but we're trying to make it um, you know make it worth of what we have, and, and we need to be better there, and we will be. It's just uh, it's just taking us some time with uh, me being new and new pieces and new people playing in extended roles, uh, and you know and. I wish uh, I wish it automatically clicked. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. Right now we're in. Sometimes it doesn't. Jay, when you look at Monroe, I mean, this isn't this isn't your uh, the old your grandma's uh, Warhawks. I mean, going in and beating Louisiana, which has been the staple of Sun Belt for quite a quite a few years with regards to what their record's been and going to bowls and so on and so forth. When you look at this Monroe team, what is it that stands out to you that, that's made them successful? You know, more so last week against Louisiana, which. Like you said, I mean, that's, that's their Super Bowl down there in Louisiana between those two. I think two things. I think, one, uh, if you watch them play, they, they play with um, great energy and effort on, and everywhere, offense, defense, special teams. They're, just, they're, they're having fun. You can tell they're having a great time. They're playing hard for each other. And I think, two, um, this is the second year of their coaching staff being there. They have confidence in what they're doing now. And is – when you when you when you're new, you just need something positive to happen. Like they played Memphis pretty well early on. They played some teams pretty well. It clicked for them last week, and you could just see uh, during that game that the way they were playing for each other. And I think that's part of. It. I think they're more comfortable now with the second year of that system that Coach brought in. I think he came from McNeese State, if I'm not, if I'm correct. And um, so they're playing extremely hard, and I think they do a good job with what they're doing. When you look at their quarterback, is would you say this is the the best quarterback that you guys have seen this year? Uh, he's pretty good. He's, I think he's probably the most dynamic. Now, the kid last week was pretty dang good. You know, he maybe didn't uh, run as well, but he could throw the ball. But as far as dynamic and can beat you um, with the arm and his, and his feet, I would say yes for sure. What about him stands out? He was somehow player of the week. I mean, over 400 some yards. I mean, it's going to be a test for your defense, isn't it? It is going to be a test. I think, I think what he does better than anything, he knows how to extend plays. You know, you can have him bottled in and um, – he can make somebody miss and, and make the play go, whether it's running or avoiding a rush and throwing the ball downfield. And I think that's uh, probably 
um, out of anybody we've seen up to this point. That's what he does better than anything. He can throw the ball, he can run, but he can avoid the rush uh, and buy some time for his receivers. And, and a lot of those plays he made were sort of broken plays that he was able to make a play on. Uh, and he's pretty dynamic, so it's going to be a, a huge challenge. How are you guys looking on the injury front? I know Shane and having Chris out last last week on uh, was hurt or hurt. How are they looking this week? Uh, Shane Shane's going to be a game time decision. Uh, it doesn't look like Chris is going to be able to go. Uh, we were hoping uh, by today that um, you know we were getting an answer for him, but he was not able to practice. So it looks like Chris will be out as well for this week, and Shane will be. Um, Shane will be. We'll make that decision on the game time. He's he's uh, doubtful right now. He's out there moving around a little bit, but um, not to what not to the at the at the level we need him to be able to play Saturday quite yet. How frustrating is is it right now to watch the issues at quarterback continue to plague this team week in week out? Now, granted, Western had a very good defensive package for you guys and kept you off your toes, and having Chris out didn't help. But just not having that consistency from that position, is it, is it frustrating at this point? I mean, is it just, I know you're probably going to say it's just a work in progress, but sooner or later it's going to cost you some games. Yeah, I, th I think the last, you know, the last two weeks of, of you, know, you could say frustrating, more so um, just not doing what our strengths are at those positions. I think that's, that's how I'd answer that. The last two weeks, we've had, we've had some chances to make some plays. And we've not done it at that position. And that's the more frustrating thing. You're not frustrated at somebody's talent or, or lack of talent, where it may be. Hey, just do what you're capable of doing. And if we do that and we can't be successful with that, then oh well. Uh, that's been the more frustrating part from my, my end is when there's chances to make some plays that they're perfectly capable of and we've not done it. That's when you get frustrated. Um, I'm not going to get frustrated. The kid's doing everything he can. He's doing things right. And we're just not good enough that we're just not good enough. It's more on the other end. And, and so over the last couple of weeks, um, there have been things that we could have made that we didn't. And then there's been plays that they've done everything right on and just not happened. And you know, that's, that's life, that's football. But it's more so when we've had maybe somebody walking or, or somebody open and we've missed them or, or uh, not set the protection right. Those are things that not a lot of talent takes. And so that's been the more frustrating part. And that's more on me of getting, um, getting those guys more consistent uh, and what they need to do to uh, be able to execute. A couple of months ago, you guys were picked to finish last in the Sun Belt. So does that give the guys extra motivation going into conference play, saying, hey, you know, we're going to prove people wrong. Let's start this week against Louisiana Monroe. You know what? It, it might, but I think more of the focus for us is just us playing better, playing more enthusiasm, more energy for each other. I, that's the main thing that we've talked a lot about is uh, we're, not, we're not as bad as we've shown. You know, but when we're when we play coastal football, I don't think we've been uh, energy wise and the effort wise. We need to play at a, at a higher level. And if we'll do those things, we don't need any other motivation. If we're playing for that, that's the way we'll look at it. Do you simplify your offense at all for for the fact that you just try to do what you can in the passing game so defenses don't stack the box and just say, all right, we're gonna we're, we dare you to throw the ball because we've seen had some struggles with that. Do you, do you kind of simplify things to make it a little bit easier so you're not, so you don't become one dimensional? We've tried, you know, and I think probably to be honest, that's probably hurt us because we've not been able to do some things that I think we can or should be able to versus some of the defensive looks. Part of that is just trying to uh, match, uh, match the personnel that you have and what they can do. Um, I do think for us to try to be more consistent and, and we, we're going to have to try to open up a few more things if we can, if we're capable of, and we've done that this week. A little bit practice-wise, um, it's just all what we can handle right now, and what we're what we what we're good at. And um, there's certain things we are, and there's certain things that we struggle with. And if people take that away, we've got to try to find another answer. Who's going to start a quarterback, and who else might see action? Uh, it's an open competition right now, just like every position. Um, it'll probably be a game type game type decision. Uh, I, we have to be better than what we've been. And so uh, we've repped a couple more people this week uh, in certain situations. Um, but uh, I'm not, um, I don't know, I, I have an idea who I think it's going to be, but we'd really like to see what happens tomorrow when we do our situational, Thursdays when we do our situations and see how some of the young people handle that. And then we'll make our decision there Friday on that. But, uh, but um, right now it's, it's open and we'll see what happens through tomorrow. You, you played four last week. Is there a chance that one of the, a fifth play person that hadn't seen the field yet? We'll, no. We'll get on that? No. Okay. We're one of the 
four we've seen so far? Probably. Okay. Yeah. Your assessment of Alex James and kind of his performance last week, scoring his first career touchdown here, and maybe seeing some more touches uh, as the season goes on. Yeah, I think Alex is is making good progress. Alex uh, Alex is a great representative of our team. He's a he's a very unselfish, uh, and I think he's got. Uh, uh, the potential to be a pretty dynamic football player for us in this league. Um, when he's when he's gotten the ball, he's been able to make some plays for us. It, it was good to see him there last week. You know, he made a really nice run. We need to get him more involved in some of the passing game and some of those things. I think because he's got the talent and ability to do that. Uh, but I, I believe uh, the way he works and the way he uh, cares about football, um, you'll see his role continue to increase, and I, I think he'll ultimately end up being an all-conference type player here. Not necessarily Will this me. I know other teams won't feel sorry for you guys, but how tough do you think the transition might be now that playing in the Sun Belt? Obviously, the teams have been in the conference longer than you have. How, how tough, if any, do you see that transition being? Well, I, I think it's. Um, I, I think you're just playing better teams, so I think that is a tougher. I mean, you're, you're playing, you know, better teams week in week out than what you've been used to. Um, now, does that doesn't mean anything? You still got to go beat them and find a way to do it. But uh, I think we're learning. As a, as a football program that each and every week you're playing somebody that's just as good or better and you have to bring your A game. Uh, and if we don't, then, um, you know, we're not good enough to win those games. And so I think that's more the harder part of the transition. Um, but the schemes is not it. It's not, you know, it's not any of this or that. Uh, they maybe have more depth in certain places, but that's just where it is. We'll get that. We'll get that here in the next year or two. It's more so just understanding the, the type of mentality each week that you have to bring to play at a high level and win. Because anybody in your conference, it shows, you know, Monroe, nobody in the world picked them to beat Louisiana, and they go beat them on their home, you know, and, and really controlled the game a lot. It, 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 you, uh, Louisiana Lafayette made a great comeback there at the end, but they dominated for a long time. So uh, I think that just shows you if you're not ready to play, you take people for granted how good the conference can be. We feel as if since this is our first conference game, you know it's going to be amped up. This is ultimately what we came here for, or came into the Sun Belt for, so we're going to play Sun Belt competition. That's what we're looking forward to. Also reiterated the fact that nothing is ever for certain. We have to go hard every single second that that play clock is running. You have to go hard every single second in between the snaps. Get your mind right, focus up, and bounce back. Even when you face adversity, you just have to keep pushing and keep plugging. So that way, if something doesn't go your way, you can at least look at yourself in the mirror. You can at least be proud of the effort that you gave. What about you, Malcolm? What did you learn from that loss on Saturday? Yeah, I mean, we just have to come out, you know, just ready to play at all times, ready to make a whole bunch of plays. You know what I'm saying? So that was that, and it's in in the past now. When you guys look at uh, Monroe uh, in the past, they've kind of been uh, so, you know, not the greatest program regards to uh, athletics, but with them beating Louisiana, which is like their Super Bowl, that was a big win for those guys. So what do you see on film that, that makes these guys uh, um, a foe to, to really have to deal with coming off that big win uh, over the Cajuns? From a defensive standpoint, the quarterback, he's going to basically try to run, make plays, get the ball out so that way they can try to move the ball. And then overall, as a team, like you said, they came off of beating Louisiana, which is like their Super Bowl. So they have that momentum going for them right now. They're going to keep trying to plug away, keep going at it. And they're going to look to get another win, obviously, just like any other football team. Now, you just talked about it, but with the uh, Sun Belt coming up and the way that Saturday went, you got to kind of feel like this is a clean slate, kind of get that behind you and kind of focus now on the, uh, on the bigger picture of Sun Belt. Yes, um, we are very, very, are ready to play. Um, offense is ready. Defense is ready. Freaking special teams is ready. We are just um, ready to go out there and have fun. When you look at this defense, uh, they gave up over 50 points last week. So there's obviously uh, room there to uh, put some points on the board. What do you see that uh, maybe you guys can exploit from a uh, offensive standpoint against this uh, Warhawk defense? I mean, like, we just going to go out there and execute. Execute, execute. Um, they play, like, a, a, like zone off um, coverage. So 
We'll be able to take the quick passes, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, um, whatever it's called, just ex execute the play, you know? You guys, uh, going into, like I said, just piggybacking up some of the play, you guys, you know, at the beginning of the year, they picked us to be last. You know, what does this game kind of mean to you guys, knowing that we're finally getting into that time to prove we're worth it in some of you play every single game with an appreciation for what we've come to. Given everything that's happened, like we said in the past three weeks, that's in the past. Win or lose, that's not up for question now. We're going into a conference game against a Sunbelt opponent, and we are very much so looking forward to beating them, to playing them, to just get that overall experience. Are you guys taking any experiences from playing in the Big South, playing in that conference, going into the Sun Belt, or not, not really? As far as having played, having had success in the, in the Big South, are you taking any of those experiences now into the Sun Belt? From a player standpoint, given from a, more so an experience, yes. But when it comes to what the coaches want, we will execute, as my teammates said. And this is a different level, it's different competition, different people. So we can't we can't expect things to be exactly the same, whether it's the same type of offense or the <coughs> same type of defense from an offensive standpoint. You have different players. And it's about every single play. It's not just about one play. Wayne, how uh, in all the years you've been here, how, how was that coming off last week's loss, how was this this week different than any other week you've experienced? The fact that we lost is the only difference. But you have to have a short mindset. You have to bounce back. Because if you drag it into the next week, the same result may happen. So what happened last Saturday happened. Came back Sunday. Clean slate. Wipe your mind clear of it. It's going to hurt. I mean, but that's life. You're back when I was asking about uh, <clears throat> having been here last year and, and not gotten that much uh, you know, production on offense. Uh, I guess did that uh, kind of little fire burning you coming into this year, uh, knowing you may be able to get some more opportunities? Oh, yes, that, definitely, definitely. Um, it's just motivation. I mean, just uh, last year I was um, in and out. I really ain't touched the ball. So, I mean, I just was ready to come out and just show the fans what I can do, you know what I'm saying? So that was that.